Well, we've been talking about Europe a lot here, and I make no apology for that. It does seem that it is a crunch year for the Eurozone. But I thought we might round off this subject from Davos by getting some thoughts about this continent from those who live elsewhere. So I'm joined by Sarah Menka, who is the founder and chief executive of a New York and Nairobi based agricultural technology company, also by Kathy Gong, who is uh, works a chief executive of a Chinese company, Seaway uh, International Investment. Good evening to you both. Thank you for coming in. You're both young. You're both going places and doing stuff in the world. Kathy, what do yes. you think of Europe? Your, your company invests, doesn't it? What do you think of Europe as a place to invest? Well, I think Europe is um, Europe is a fresh market to Chinese um, companies, most of the Chinese companies, because uh, if we look at the private sector, we only have the longest company private company will have it 30 years. It's about 30 years. So any markets or foreign markets, it's very new to us. But Europe markets is very special in a way. It's a fresh market with opportunities and with security because you know what to expect. Unlike some like maybe more raw markets, it's, uh, it's more like you, you might gain more, but you also risk is high. Risk is high in Europe. Uh, no, oh, in, maybe, oh, in yeah, other, other markets. In okay. markets. But in Europe, it's all very stable. And, and, and yes, it it's always very feel stable. Like it. yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Well, I, I guess I don't invest in Europe per se, but I definitely look at patterns in terms of interest in investing in Europe um, more from an African lens. Mm -hmm. And I think um, from a proximity standpoint, Europe is closer. But from a trade standpoint, it's actually much more complicated than trading with Asia because Europe has all sorts of trade barriers up that actually prevent the free flow of trade from Africa. So I think there's, you know, there's a lot more to be done and there's a lot of opportunity, but it's actually not being uh, the advantages or kind of the opportunities are not being seized because of barriers right, that yeah. are up. Let, let me put to this to both of you. Uh, around Davos, I hear people saying Europe is a problem. It's sclerotic, it's kind of stuck in its ways, it's inflexible. Is that your impression? And that of your country folk? Is that the impression they have, the sort of general view they have of Europe? Well, in China, not. Um, actually, Chinese uh, are looking into Europe and, and European markets uh, uh, as, a, as a general, as a very favorable uh, destination. I, I don't know whether um, still remember. This, uh, is, this is a bit of a shock. <laughs> I'm, I'm falling off my chair. Okay. It is um, because it's, um, as I said, uh, first of all, it's a very united market. I actually I want to um, make some comment. Uh, well, with what Sarah just said, international from an international trading point of view, actually international trading point of view, we feel because we do international trading as well, trading with uh, European countries easier to trade with other markets because uh, here you have you have uh, many regulations and uh, laws, okay. uh, but but the, it's very clear and also it's a, it's a united market. Mm. Sarah, I'm going to test you on something. Mm. Oh. If I told you you had to choose a word to describe Europe, one of these two words, new old which word would you choose old old yeah so modern <laughs> stuck in the past kathy I, I think it's very modern but i have to choose between two <laughs> words <laughs> uh, if i have to something in between. If, uh, stuck in the it's, it's, uh, if it's a third term i would think it's very sophisticated yeah what about the comparison to the us in in, in your continents and countries i mean do you think people think of europe as a place that they identify with a little better perhaps than the US or sorry uh, well africa has a special relationship yeah. with europe <laughs> <laughs> right so there's colonial history there and so yes it's closer in that sense but in some ways i think America can be more welcoming to Africans um, looking for new opportunity. Mm. Um, but Europe has special ties. Like, for example, France with Western Africa, there are special ties that exist, and so you see much closer linkages, but less so with Eastern Africa. Where, 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 a typical Asian or, or Chinese, yes. where would they rather go and live? Somewhere in Europe? <laughs> where there's a welfare system, where you get four or <laughs> five weeks holiday a year, you don't have to, well, or would they rather go off to the United States and its dynamic, thrusting it, economy? It sounds quite dreamy if you can have like four <laughs> or five weeks uh, or holiday. But I mean, uh, I see many um, similarities between Chinese and European culture. In 
so in that way, it's a reflection of human behaviors as well. So two continents actually share uh, many things similar, such as a rich culture. So I guess uh, two civilization, they understand each other quite, quite well. That's why as a typical Chinese, mm -hmm. uh, I find actually easier to, to do business with Europeans okay. than, than the US. Last one, Sarah. Britain and Europe. Are they the same thing? Is Britain part of Europe as Africans see it, or is it separate? It's, it's actually quite separate. So oh, yeah. I think it's the UK <laughs> and then <laughs> the EU. <laughs> um, and, and part of it is also the process of getting there, right? So if I, as an African, and I still hold an Ethiopian passport, I want to go to the UK, I go to the British Embassy. If I want to go to anywhere in the EU, I go to any country, <laughs> uh, the embassy of any country in the EU. So it's, so it's, it's a, one it's, or the other. Yeah, it's yeah, one yeah. or the other. So it's, <laughs> I can't look at them the same. Okay. Thanks. Great stuff for your um, great perception. Thanks, Kathy Hisara. Thanks both. Thank you.